welcome back dear students to standard 6 subject mathematics chapter 2 angles module 2 let's see the learning objective of this module in this module you will be learning about know your compass box an angle bisected and questions related to it so let's get started get to know your compass box first we will see what is compass here in this picture you can see a compass a compass is known as a pair of compasses is a technical drawing instrument that can be used for inscribing circle or arc now we will see what is protractor a protractor is a measuring instrument typically made of transparent plastic or metal for measuring angles some protractors are simple half disc the protractor has two scales from 0 to 180 degree which scale to use depend on whether the angle is acute means less than 90 or obtuse 90 to 180 degree next is what is scale so a scale or ruler is a tool for measuring the length and transferring the measurement at fixed ratio of length students there are two more types of instrument in the compass box let's see how to use them first one is set square so the set square come into the two usual forms both right triangles one with 90 45 45 degree angles the other with 30 60 90 degree angle combining the both two forms by placing the hypotenuse together will always Is 15 degree and 75 degree angles. Second one is divider. The instrument shown alongside is the divider. It is used to measure the distance between two points. To do so, a scale also has to be used along. with the divider now we will see our main topic that is an angle bisector an angle bisector divides the angle into two angles with equal measure an angle only has one bisector each point of an angle bisector is equidistant from the side of the angle so in this picture you can see an angle bisector that divides the angle into two angles with equal measure each point of an angle bisector is a equidistant from the side of an angle let us see how to use geometrical instrument to construct geometrical figure let's see one example draw any angle abc draw its bisector so first step is draw an angle abc of any measure so using protractor we will draw 
and the angle ABC now place the point of a compass on point B and with any convenient distance draw an arc to cut rays BA and BC now name the point of intersection as P and Q respectively next step is now place the point of the compass at point P so here you will place the point of the compass on point P and taking a convenient distance draw an arc inside the angle using same distance draw another arc inside the angle from point Q to cut the previous arc so here you can see name the point of the intersection as point O now draw ray BO ray BO is the bisector of angle ABC measure angle ABO and CBO students here you can see how we will bisect an angle so first we have taken some measurement on the compass then we have put the compass on point B then we have mark an arc but keeping the same compass setting put the point on the compass where each arc cross the line and draw the arc from each position now draw a straight line from the vertex of the angle so here this line bisect the angle students now we will see to construct an angle equal in measure to a given angle using a compass and ruler let's see one example see look at the given angle abc in the figure alongside draw angle pqr equal in measure to ABC so using compass and ruler we will draw angle PQR equal in measure to angle ABC so to draw this we have to follow some step first step is draw ray QR so here we will draw ray QR second step is using the same distance again place the compass point at point Q of ray QR and draw an arc let this arc cut the ray QR at T so here you can see this arc cut the ray QR at T now place the point of the compass at point E and open the compass to distance equal to D so you will take this distance now place the compass point on T using the distance equal to DE draw an arc 
to cut the previous arc at S. So here you can see using the distance equal to D an arc to cut the previous arc at S. Draw the ray QS take point P on ray QS. Using a protractor verify that the angle PQR so formed is of the same measure as ABC. Now we will see one more example. Construct an angle bisector to obtain an angle of 30 degree. Here we have to construct an angle bisector to obtain an angle of 30 degree. So first we will see how to draw that. In order to get a bisected angle of a given measure, student has to draw the angle having the twice measurement of required bisected angle. For getting the measurement of 30 degree for the bisected angle, one has to make an angle of 60 degree. So first we will take an angle of 60 degree and then we will bisect that. Then we will get angle of 30 degree. So first step is draw angle ABC of 60 degree. So step 2 is cut arcs on the ray BA and BC. Name the points as D and E respectively. So first we will cut the arcs on the rays BA and BC and then we will name the point as D and E. Step 3 is place the compass on point D and draw an arc inside the angle without changing the distance of the compass. Place the compass point on point E and cut the previous arc. Name the point of intersection as O. Step 4. Draw ray BO. Ray BO is the angle bisector of angle ABC. So measure angle ABO that is equal to measure angle CBO that is equal to 30 degree. So like this we will draw. Students, now we will discuss practice set 3. First one is use the proper geometrical instrument to construct the following angles. Use the compass and the ruler to bisect them. So here we will use compass and ruler to bisect an angle. Question number one is 50 degree. So students here first you will draw angle ABC of 50 degree. Then you will cut the arc on the rays BA and BC. Name this point as P and Q respectively. Place the compass on point P and draw an arc. Without changing the distance of the compass, place the compass on point Q and cut the previous arc. Name the point of intersection as O. So draw ray BO. Ray BO is the angle bisector of angle ABC. So measure angle ABO and measure angle CBO that is equal to 25 degree.
question number 2 is 115 degree so draw an angle lmn of 115 degree now cut the arcs on the ray ml and mn name this point as a and b respectively now place the compass on point a draw an arc without changing the distance of the compass place the compass point on point b and cut the previous arc name the point of intersection now draw ray mo ray mo is the angle bisector of angle lmn measure angle lmo that is equal to measure angle nmo that is equal to 57.5 question number 3 is 90 degree here first we will draw angle stu of 90 degree then we will cut the arcs on the rays ts and tu name this point as c and d respectively now place the compass point on point c and draw an arc without changing the distance of the compass place the compass point on point d and cut the previous arc now name the point of intersection as o here we will draw ray to ray to is the angle bisector of angle stu so measure angle sto that is equal to measure angle uto that is equal to 45 degree students here we have completed with practice set 3 Thank you dear students.